Hello everyone, I'm going to make a short little tutorial on how to hook up your ME system to process processing machines such as uh, thermal expansion machines and Ender IO machines. So real quick, I'm going to go over what you're going to need to hook your stuff up. So what you're going to need is any type of crafting storage unit. Um, if you have molecular assemblers, a crafting co-processing -co unit is recommended. And then lastly, this crafting monitor is completely optional, but it is very helpful in determining what you are crafting at the time and how much um, is left to craft. Something else you're going to need is this ME pattern storage. This is how you're going to make your patterns to encode uh, basically what you want to send to a machine and what you want out of, out, out of a machine. Some things you're going to need to hook up your machines are an ME import bus, an ME interface, so uh, the ME import bus I put on the back of machines. Um, the import bus takes items out of machine and imports them into your ME system, hence the name import bus. And then the interface is basically the uh, input into the machine, so your items flow into the machine using the import bus. And it does, and it does, and it it is, and it is also the uh, storage for your patterns in which you put these patterns into your machine so your machine knows how to craft them. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna uh, do one example of crafting, or yeah, making a pattern. So I'll just use an Ender IO pattern. So this is for dark steel in Ender IO and it utilizes the alloy smelter. So what it needs is obsidian, iron, and pulverized coal. One huge, uh, point I want to make here is make sure you're on the processing pattern. You can uh, switch between the crafting pattern and processing pattern. The crafting pattern is basically like um, easy crafting that you can do um, by like hand and not machine. And processing pattern is where you're using machines to do the work for you. So make sure you're on the processing pattern when using your machines. So I'm going to encode this pattern and I'm going to go over here to my uh, alloy smelter and remember our ME interface is where we input our codes or our patterns to make what we want so we're gonna take out this uh, previously made encoding pattern and I've actually made three of them we're gonna put in the one we made they're all the same and uh, let's just see what happens when we go over here we want to make sure that we have all the materials in here or else it's not gonna work as you can see I'm missing obsidian so it will not make what you don't have. Let's throw in some obsidian and let's craft two of these dark steel ingots. As you can see, it was sent from the ME system. The items have been imported into our alloy smelter here and once it is done crafting, it will send it along back into our ME system due to the connections that we made using our import bus and our ME interface. Remember with ME, um, uh, what do you call them? Ender IO machines, you need to configure the outputs and inputs. So the pull is the blue, just like thermal expansion. And my output is the push. As you can see, here is my ME system. And uh, here's the input of the ME system. Here's the output of the ME system. So. That is uh, what you want to make sure, and you want to make sure you do the same thing for these thermal expansion machines as well. Input on top, output on back, inputs, outputs. So yeah, as you can see, um, I've made other patterns. These all work. So you put in, you go to the, your uh, encoding pattern or your pattern terminal. Put in one obsidian on the left side, four pulverized obsidian on the right side. Throw the pattern in here, and I can make pulverized obsidian when I want it. Let's make four and it should pop up with four pretty soon here. As you can see, it's like craft four for me, please. And four is ready to go. So um, one big important uh, fact that you need to know is when you're crafting your uh, patterns, you need to input exactly how much, how many items it takes to make that item and how many items you're getting out of it. Um, there is an exception, so if I put in the pattern like this, the pattern would not work. One redstone would be sent to the magma crucible if I hooked this up with the interface at the magma crucible, but um, the system would get jammed because it doesn't take one redstone to make one bucket, it takes 10 redstone to make one bucket. So we wanna make sure 
that we encode our patterns properly. So one exception is when you're, if you ever, I've never done this, but if you use the pulverizer to make bone meal, I'm just getting bone meal real quick so I can make an example. So I don't know if you saw that six popped up here. So when you use the pulverizer with the, um, to make bone meal, you get six. So if I encoded a pattern where I was like one bone equals one bone meal, this would actually work because you're putting in one bone meal bone and you're actually getting one bone meal out. You will make more, but since your um, machine is already hooked up to your interface, it's still going to export all the extra items that you get out. Just like if you used a um, what do you call it? pulver? Yeah, if you use a pulverizer or induction smelter and you get secondaries, those will still be exported out of the machine if you set up your configuration properly um, because the machine is still hooked up to the ME system and it'll still suck it right out. So I'm just going to make this um, example real quick. So it is the pulverizer. We've already had a pattern. This one says four output of bone meal, but we're just going to put on our one. And I'm going to say that I want one bone meal and it will shoot out six because six is actually made, but I still said I wanted one, as you can tell. So that is a quick example of setting up your blank patterns and uh, hooking up your machines. So make sure that your inputs for your ME system matches your inputs for your system and the exports match the exports ender IO um, you go over here and orange just like thermal expansion is your output of the machine and blue is your input to the machine and one other quick quick um, just topic I want to bring up here is the this weird like uh, just feature of applied energistics where um, energy can only travel so far in these cables so sometimes if it's not hooked up properly I don't have any machines on me I don't think but if you have like a line of machines you need special cables such as these dense cables to run and hook up to those amount of machines because um, power is sent to each one of these devices so as you can tell these are all working because it says device online I'm gonna go ahead and just take the time to hook up some other machines to show you what I mean so let's hook up just three more machines should do it I'm sorry I'm trying to do this on the fly should have thought of this already and then lastly let's get some import buses and I have some interfaces and then lastly I need cables cable that should do all right so we hook this is dense cable I can't use that uh, smart cable whatever that cable will work so we hook these cables up and these devices I don't think will work yeah as you can tell um, no no energy is being sent to these cables uh, actually this one is this one's not um, depending on the cable sometimes it won't it won't send the energy so make sure you're using the correct cables uh, these glass cables are basically the lowest and they're not really good for setting up a huge line the dense cables are very good but they can't hook up uh, panels so that's why I couldn't put a dense cable right here with this bus right here you need smart cables um, you can set up something where you have dense cables right here and then a bunch of smart cables hook up to it that's more ideal so be wary of that if you're making a long line of machines and for some reason your items aren't getting put into the machine or taken out sometimes your device may not be working you can just check on that by putting your cursor over it it'll say device missing or device offline if it's not getting uh, energy or whatnot I actually think these are working it's just the inputs are the things are incorrect I bet you this will make it start working nope okay well yeah that was just a short little um, fact I wanted to bring up to y'all so hope you enjoyed I hope this helps if you have any questions about this feel free to leave in the comments I'll answer it as soon as possible if you have any other questions about any other mods need help whatever uh, please let me know and I'll make a video about it or just comment and uh, help you out so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope this helps you out take care